Welcome to the next and probably last part in my scale modeling basic series where we will take a look at decals. There are plenty of them for this tiger meat tornado, so let's go! What you will need is a cutting mat and obviously a model. As you can see I already sprayed on a gloss coat. From my experience this isn't necessary, but I prefer to protect the underlying layers with it and in some cases it can help to minimize silvering of the decals. I already applied the decals on the fuel tanks without a gloss coat and it also worked out well and without any silvering. You just need a clean and smooth surface. What else do we need? Of course the manual so we know where to put all these decals that we find on the decal sheet. Furthermore, some water. I often heard that you should use warm water, but I continue using it when it has cooled down. Just don't use ice cold water. A toothpick quite useful to move decals around. Also a brush, your hobby knife and some sort of ruler that can also be helpful to cut the decals out. Then any kind of pen or marker, a cotton bud and finally some tweezers. And if you really want to be on the safe side, get yourself some sort of setting solution for decals. These help the decals apply to the surface better and conform to panel lines and laying around edges. For me this is a must have. Now where do we start? As you can see I use this marker to tick off decals I already placed. In this case I want to work my way from the middle fuselage to the wings to get some symmetry. So I already cut out decal number 31 using the hobby knife. I can recommend cutting close to the decal so there isn't a lot of carrier film which might lead to silvering. It's better to drop these longer decals into the water upside down so they don't bend that much from the moisture. I was asked how long it takes, well that's totally different. I had decals that floated after a few seconds while others took more than a minute. It might be better to cut away these tiny numbers before dropping the decal into the water so they don't land on your model. Gently try to move the decal using your fingers. If it doesn't move, it's not ready yet. Before putting large decals onto the model, it's also a good idea to brush a bit of water onto that area so you can move the decal around more easily. Now it's ready, so I just pull it off the paper. The alignment was a bit difficult in this case. Try to find reference points in the manual, for example panel lines that the decal has to cross. Also, don't try to push the decal, just gently pull it in the right direction with your finger, a toothpick or a brush. The moisture below makes that easier. When the decal is finally in the right spot, use a cotton swab to remove the water underneath the decal. Just gently slide it over the decal. If it starts moving, just hold one side with a toothpick or a finger. I brushed on setting solution so that the decal adapts to the surface and fits nicely around the edge. You have to be patient and let the solution do its job. Don't touch the decals. The decal will become wrinkled, but that's only temporary. After a few more coats the decal adhered well to the surface, so I continued. As I mentioned in some of my build reviews, this process is always the same. Slide the decal onto the model, carefully move it into the right place, for example with a toothpick. Remove the moisture with the help of a cotton swab and brush some setting solution onto the decal. Carefully check the manual and reference pictures for the correct alignment and keep in mind that some decals need to be placed on others. I continued with the wing and fuselage decals and worked my way to the front section, which was quite tricky. Furthermore, there was a big gap on the stabilizer and some difficulties at the refueling probe. But with a lot of patience and setting solution, it all worked out quite well. The decals even conformed to these complex shapes and to the panel lines. 
If that doesn't work, you can gently slide a sharp blade through the panel lines and add more setting solutions. I know decals can be frustrating to work with, but take your time. Practice makes perfect. With that I want to conclude my beginner videos for now. If you want to see the finished tornado, subscribe and activate the bell. My build review should be ready relatively soon. So thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.